Now to those claims of Nassau County police brutality on Long Island. Taweed Brennan says his arrest left him scared and afraid of police. Now he's suing the department that put him in handcuffs. His claims now in the seven figures for false imprisonment. I was news border Crystal Cranmore live in the Nassau County hamlet of Baldwin with this story. Crystal. Good afternoon. Well, Brennan plans to file a lawsuit for $1 million claiming police brutality and false arrest. Now, the charges leading to that arrest were dropped this week, giving rise to this notice of claim. Now, according to Brennan, the officers listed in this claim tried to stop the alleged abuse caught on camera, but they did not act fast enough. Nassau County police body cameras captured moments Tawid Brennan would like to forget. I felt scared. I didn't know what was going to happen. No! Instead, he's haunted every day by the trauma he says he faced at the hands of Nassau County law enforcement. Announcing with his lawyer today, he plans to sue the police department for false arrest and police brutality. This detective put his hands around my client's neck and squeezed. He proceeded to put his hand into his hair and pull his hair back. All while Brennan says he was handcuffed. It's just, it was barbaric. The announcement comes a day after the Nassau County District Attorney dropped charges against Brennan for an incident last April 5th at this supermarket in Baldwin. Brennan says he forgot his backpack at this market after buying groceries for his mom. He later returned to the store to find police waiting for him. The 23 year old saying there was a CO2 airsoft gun and knife inside the backpack. It's like a survival kit. I do camping every once in a while. But police, who were responding to reports of a suspicious person, according to the body cam footage, locked Brennan up for assault. Resisting arrest and drug possession. There was absolutely no assault on any police officer. He was moving around a bit, but he wasn't resisting arrest. And the drugs, ADHD, an anticonvulsant medication left in the bag by a previous owner, according to Brennan. There was no basis for the arrest. There was no basis for the beating. I think. They were profiling me as a young African-American. Now his mother determined to get justice for her son. I want someone to pay for this. Now, according to Nassau County, there were 15 reported cases of excessive force against the Nassau County Police Department in 2022. That's down from 28 reported cases in 2021. Now, the Nassau County Police Department, as well as the District Attorney's Office, provided no comment regarding this case. Uh, we do know from the Brennan family that they filed this notice yesterday. They tell me they look forward to their day in court.